together, Jesus taught his disciples to, to say the Our Father. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Children, just remember, Jesus said uh, for our uh, daily bread, which means he will provide for us during this time. God bless and stay safe. Hey everyone, so we're about to do the birthdays and I believe that today is Yanif Shija's birthday. So happy birthday, Yanif. We pray that you have a blessed day today. And then we're also just going to pray for everyone that has celebrated their birthday this past week. So can we all just bow our heads and close our eyes? Father God, we come to you today and we just want to thank you for blessing those who celebrated their birthday this past week, Lord. And we just pray that you gave them the best possible day they could have had considering these circumstances, Lord. And that you continue to bless them for many more years to come. We just want to thank you and give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Jiku, no poke when we in the pants. Did you wash your face? Behave. Did you eat something yet? Listen. Did you do your homework? To be kind to others and love each and everyone. To provide. It doesn't matter what. They look on the outside at what matters on the inside. Clean the room and wake my feet up. She loves to make jelly tops. To be grateful um, for what I have. Not to lie. Be kind. Pick up the dog's poo. Uh, put the bins in front, etc. etc. So there's a lot. when she tell me to sleep. She uh, buys a lot of clothes, she makes me food and she looks after me when I'm sick. She did, she sacrificed a lot and she and she loves us with all her heart and she will never stop loving us. Because she because she gave birth to us. She cares about the family and she always does lots of stuff for us. She cares and loves me a lot. She's careful. Um, she cares for me and she loves me. She just always, always there to encourage you. She cooks nice food and she always makes a time for us to play. And she always bakes nice stuff. I love mommy uh, because she's always so kind and caring and she always does her best in everything she does and she always tries to help other people. A baby? Chips. 
and Easter Bunny in walks. A chance to stay at home and, and, and not work. work. And please not a baby, right? Yes, a baby. Yes, my no. baby. Yes, a baby. Please. A baby. A baby. No. Blessings. Stuff. Like what? Like a baby do something. God, please, please, my mom, to achieve a goal to be a social worker. Lots of joyfulness and happiness and kindness. Hi guys, I'm doing the memory verse for this week and it's found in, oops, it's found in Proverbs verse 31 verses 25. What does it say? It says, she is clothed in strength, girl power and dignity and she laughs without any fear for the future. So guys, remember the memory verse is found in Proverbs verse, Proverbs 31 verses 25. Bye guys, love you very much, miss you very much and stay safe. Bye. Welcome boys and girls. Good morning. Um, and also good morning to mommy and daddy. And this is a special day and I have someone joining me for a short while uh, before I tell the story this morning. And so we get going to just hear what she has to say. So this is Kim, everyone. Good morning, children and parents. So today I'm here. Can anybody tell me why I'm here? Well, my mom's on my left. So today is Mother's Day. So on Mother's Day, we can't take our mothers out today because we all have to be home. But maybe we can make some tea for her or give her a massage Ooh. or just give her a hug and make her feel special. You can even ask your daddy or mommy to help you make tea. Um, or you can draw a little card. So I'm going to make my mother some tea now to make her feel special. Bye, guys. Thank you, Kim. So, boys and girls, this morning we have a special story to tell you this morning. And our story is found in Genesis 12. And the story is called Son of Laughter. So I'm going to read you this, read the story to you this morning. Years passed and things didn't get any better. People were still as cruel and mean to one another. They still got sick and died. God's world was still full of tears. It was never meant to be like this. But God was getting ready to do something about it. We're going to wait and see what God is going to do. He was going to make all the wrong things right. And he was going to do it through something very special that we all hold so dear, our families. Abram, God said, how many stars are there? God was about to tell his friend a wonderful secret. Let me see, Abram said, rolling up his sleeves. But have you ever tried counting stars? Then you know how hard it is, everyone. Did any of you look up into the sky already and try and count the stars? I'm sure we all tried that. It's impossible. It's so, so many. Am I right? But Abram tried anyway. He counted 993, 994, 995. Oh, oh no, there I couldn't remember. Let's try again. Oh, and he just said, no, wait a minute. This is a bit too hard for me. So, of course, he kept losing count. It's too many, he said to God. Guess what? God laughed. I will give you so many children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren that you won't even be able to count them either. Abram couldn't help giggling at such a wonderful idea. But he stopped himself. How? Could he have a family? Don't be silly. He didn't have any children, let alone grandchildren. <laughs> and he wiped away a tear. Anyway, it was far too late for him to start having babies at his age. He was 99 years old. What could God mean by this? 
Abraham, God said, believe me. And all of us sometimes struggle to believe, eh? <clears throat> and then God told Abraham his secret rescue plan. Abraham, I will make your family very big. God promised. Until one day, your family will come to number more than all the stars in the sky. That's a lot, am I right? So God is saying he's gonna, Abram's going to have so many, 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 many children. Abram looked up at the dark night's thick sky full of stars. You will be my special family, my people, and through you, everyone will be blessed. It was really an incredible promise. God was going to rescue the world through Abram's family, and that is amazing. One of his great, great, great grandchildren would be the child the promised one, the rescuer. But it's too wonderful, Abram said. How can it even be true? Is anything too good to be true? God asked. Is anything too wonderful for me? So Abram trusted God, what God said, more than what his eyes could see. And he believed. And so we see now Abram's believing God. Now when Abram's wife, Sarah, heard God's promise, she just laughed to herself. <laughs> but it wasn't a happy laugh. It had tears in it. She'd always wanted a baby. Could her dream come true? She wondered. Could she really have a baby when she was 90 years old? Like a grandma? No, of course not. Don't be silly. It was really far too late. Sarah didn't believe God could do what he promised. And all of us sometimes, we struggle, you know, when our mommies or our daddies promise us something and sometimes we don't believe it. Or you even, you promised your friend or your brother or your sister. And sometimes we don't believe that they'll really keep their promise. But God is not the same. She had forgotten that when God says something... It's as good as done. Of course, it was easy for God to give her a baby son as it was for him to make all the stars in the sky. So, sure enough, not one month later, not two, how many months? Nine months later, just as God had promised, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. They named him Isaac which means son of laughter. And Sarah laughed again, but this time it was a glorious, happy laugh. Her dream had come true. God would do as he promised. And so we see that God kept his promise. How amazing is that? So whatever God has promised you girls and boys, or mommy and daddy, and especially mommy, I'm sure there's lots of things in her heart today, same as Sarah, that she's trusting God and believing God that he will keep his promise like he did for Sarah. Her dream had come true. God would do as he promised. He would always look after Abram's family, his special people. And one day, God would send another baby, a baby promised to a girl who didn't even have a husband. But this baby would bring laughter to the whole world. This baby would be everyone's dream come true. And so that's the story for this morning, boys and girls, and I hope you really enjoyed that. And truly that sometimes we feel sad and sometimes we feel that people don't keep their promises. And we're learning today that God is not like human beings. God is the one that keeps his promises. And so whatever you trust in God for, as you prayed about it, God will keep his promise. And so we're going to trust God this morning. So let us pray and commit even our special mommies to him today and our grandmas. Father God... We thank you that you are a loving God and that you keep your promises, that your word is amen and that your word is from the beginning to the end. And so whatever you've promised us, God, may we trust you, 
may we believe that you will do as you promise. So help us not to doubt, but to believe. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you, boys and girls and mommies. Oh, yes, look here. Yeah. for my mom. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. Bye, guys. Enjoy it with your moms this, mo this morning. Spoiler, lover. Just have a beautiful day. Even grandmas and aunties have a beautiful Mother's Day. Good morning kids. Now we are going to pray and we're going to pray for all the mothers around the world. Now let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you Lord in this morning. We thank you for this day, a special day for our mothers. We thank you Father God for the blessings that our mothers have been in our lives. We thank you for each and every blessing that you have blessed our mothers with. We give you glory, we give you honor and all the praise mighty God. Lord in this day, we want to bring all the mothers from around the world Lord. Father, we want to first, Father God, 
not forget the request that the little ones have said, mighty God, for their own mothers, God. We bring each and every request that the little ones have been mentioning, Lord, unto you in this time. And we pray that, God, this request may be granted to these mothers in the name of Jesus. Lord God, in this day, it's a day, Father, where we are celebrating Mother's Day in a very different way because of this pandemic that the whole world is faced with and um, COVID-19, Lord, that is causing everybody to be anxious, mighty God. Lord, we just want to bring all the mothers around the world, mothers from all the different states, mothers of all the different nations, mothers from all different races different cultures, different religions. We bring all these mothers unto you, Father God. We bring mothers who are leaders, mighty God, who in this time, God, have to make decisions, mighty God. And that, God, we pray that, Lord, you give them wisdom, you give them the strength, and let your peace be with them, Father God, in each and every decision they have to take. We pray that you give them strength, God, to carry on leading and trusting in you, Father. My God, we pray, Father, for mothers that are mothers that are having kids at home, mothers with a lot of kids at home, mothers that have adopted kids, and these mothers may be feeling overwhelmed by the whole thing that is happening, God. Have they, some they have to go to work and come back and help children with the schoolwork. Help them, Lord, to have strength to do what they need to do, mighty God, is the mothers. Lord, I want to pray, Father God, for mothers that have lost their jobs, mothers that have lost their loved ones, the mothers that they have in being infected by this virus, Lord. I pray that, God, you, you become the comfort to these mothers, that you give them strength, God, and that you give them courage, and you heal, mighty God, the wounds that this virus has caused them, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. I want to pray, God, for the self-employed mothers, mothers that have find themselves having to find different ways of bringing food to the table, mighty God. Help these mothers Lord, to find their new ideas, mighty God, that they can be able to bring the food to their children, mighty God, as they have to stand up every day working in their businesses, mighty God. Give them, Father God, new ideas and the strength, mighty God, to work, Father God, in their business and keep their business going, mighty God. Lord, I want to pray, Father God, for mothers that are staying at home, new mothers, God, and the mothers that are um, um, those that, Father God, are still going to be mothers. I pray, Father God, for your love and your peace to be with them, Father God, that they will not be anxious by anything. Lord, I want to pray, Father God, again, for mothers that um, have been working through this time, Lord. There's been time where People were staying safe at home, Lord, keeping their children safe and staying safe to and, and staying safe, mighty God, at home. But there were mothers that couldn't stay at home, Lord. Mothers that had to wake up each and every morning at the risk of their own lives, face everything and go and serve the country, go and serve in their working environment, go and serving in the world, oh Lord. I pray for those mothers. I want to thank you that, Father God, you have kept us safe until this far, Lord. And I want to pray, Father God, for strength and the renewal of strength, for the renewal of faith and your favor, mighty God, to be upon them, mighty God that you help them to have four pigeons every day. I want to pray for healthcare mothers, mighty God, as they wake up every day, mighty God. Give them strength, mighty God, and that anxiety does not get them, Lord, that they will put all the fear, all their fears unto you, mighty God. I pray this, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, mighty God, and I pray that, God, your word, that your promises that are in your word may be always in their mind and always in our mind, mighty God. I pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.